guys, so today we have something amazing. We have something nice from DJI. We have the Mavic Mini. So the Mavic Mini is one of those drums that I always want to fly. Why? Because it's so small. It can fit the palm of your hand. And it's about the same size on my iPhone. Wow. And this drum is pretty simple. First and foremost, we, before we move in, we are going to review some of the specs um, that you can find in this drum. So DJI claimed that this drum can fly all the way to 2.5 miles away. I've seen some YouTubers doing fly tests and one of the YouTuber went beyond three miles, but I do not recommend it. Now, to make sure that your drone do not fly away, try to keep your drone as close to you as you can. Um, do not go beyond two miles. Why? Because you never know. Especially if you're a beginner, there's a lot of drone users, especially those with experiences. They have their magic meaning flying away from them. You, you have to make sure that you keep your drone close to you. And one of the amazing thing is that this drone is less than 250 grand. You, you do not need a license or permit to fly this drone. This drone is less than 250 grand. That's amazing. Um, you do not need a part 107 license. Um, you just have to follow the FAA regulation. Simple regulation, do not fly this drone above 400 feet, of course. Always fly in areas that you can fly. There's an amazing app that you can get. It's called Drone Bodies. I'm going to leave it right behind boop, in the description section so you can see which uh, app is that. It's called Drone Body. But that drone can help you a lot. It can give you other places where you can fly and other areas, other class A, class B, class C, and different areas where you can fly. Um, if you know that you are close to an airport, you cannot fly close to an airport. So you have to follow the regulations. This drum is cool. It's so light. Yes, it's so light. It's amazing light. We are going to try this today. We are going to see what is this drum about. So guys, we are about to test the uh, we are about to test this beautiful drone. So just a tip. This drum is very used to it's very easy to use. The instructions are very simple. Um, to turn on the controllers, you just press here. To calibrate the controllers, all you have to do is press here, down, up, down. As you can see, the drum will react to that. Just press here, press down, press down, up, and then down to the side. And then you will hear the take off. Very simple. Um, so, so to the left, what you have here, it's the directions. You can ascend, descend, move the drone to the left, to the right, and this is just to move the drone to whichever direction you want to go: north, south, east, and west, south, north, east, and west. That's where you move it. And basically to take off, all you, gotta, all you have to do is just press this button here, the H. And this button here is to go, come back home, the H. Come back home. The button here is pretty simple. This is for video recording. This is for, for photos. Now, let's start. Now, let's try this baby now and see how it's going to work. Let's try this baby now and see how it's gonna work. So now we are about to fly this drone. Um, we are checking the app. Just make sure that you download the DJI Fly app. You need the app to um, fly this drone. Right now, the drone is finding our location. As you can see, it's marking our home point. Um, as we keep trying the app, um, it's asking for pre-flight check. So 
So to fly this drone, just press take off. As soon as you press take off, the drum is going to take off from the home point that is updated. And as you can see here, the drone is flying up. It's ascending up. And you can see the clear image from the drone in the background. And you can see the DJI Fly app in the bottom right. Right now, I am using the app in the bottom right, and the whole back, the whole background is just the drone imaging. We're moving the gimbal down. Let's see. Um, so you can move the the gimbal just by putting your fingers in the screen and holding it up and down. Okay, so the drone is now ascending. It's ascending up. You can see the view. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a nice sunny day. This is the best um, weather to fly this drone. Just make sure that um, it's not too sunny. Um, Partially cloudy is the best um, weather to fly drum in general. As you can see, I'm moving the drum to the left. You can see the whole green color and the beautiful, beautiful view right now too. And the beautiful view right now, we are at a height of 36 meter. We can go more up. And we're flying away. As we move to the left, we're just observing the entire um, environment. As you can see how the green contrast, um, it's showing, you can see the dark color and you can see the light color. This drone is amazing. This drone is able to capture this image at 2.7K. Wow. 2.7K. That's not bad. The camera records at 2.7K and it's amazing. Um, 190 meter. Uh, we just keep moving, move to the left. It's a beautiful view and a beautiful day. I definitely enjoy this. As you can see, the drum is rotating. Now let's uh, um, now let's descend this drone and ascend it and see how that works. If it's interrupted, um, something amazing um is how stable this drone is. Like when you don't move this drone, this drone is able to stay very stable. And today we have winds of 10 miles per hour, so it's not bad. Now let's move it closer to us. As you can see the image to the bottom right, As we move it, we can see a little bit of sunlight hitting the drone. This is not something that you want. The conscious is beautiful. Uh, I like the way this drone records. It's just one of the best feedback um, between um, the camera, the gimbal, and the phone is amazing. So right now we're just flying the cinematic mode. Um, now let's try sport mode and see. Let's move a little bit up. Um, 
Okay, let's go. Let's go a little bit faster. Um, and as you can see too, we're flying a counter, counter wind. We're countering the wind right now. 240 meters. It's moving up. Let's see if we can reach to close to 295 meter. Yeah, and we are at a height of 54 meter. We can go higher than that. We can go all the way to 400, of course. But as we try this test, let's move the gimbal to the left after flying on sport mode. So as you can see, sport mode is just, wow. It worked fine, and the gimbal moving to the left after flying in sport mode is giving me a good feedback, and it's very stable too. This is one of the most unique things about this drone. It's very stable. I'm very surprised for the stability. What about if we try the smooth mode and see? Let's try the smooth mode. Let's go. Um, so we go high now. Let's see. You can see the road, um, you can see the highway. Now let's move faster, let's go home. Now let's try going home. <laughs> let's try the return home mode and see how it respond. You can try the, the, the return home by clicking the H, return home letter. So now it's returning home. It's returning home. Exciting. No, it's amazing. This is amazing. Um, it's responding very well. Mm. So when you press return home, the drone flies automatically with return home. It's amazing. Now it's going down. It's going down. Is she turning home? Wow. Hmm. It's getting hit by the sun. It's getting hit by the sunlight. It's affecting the gimbal. Wow. It's it's cool. It returned back to its initial location. This is amazing. DJI they did an amazing job. Wow. But this drone is cool. Um, I enjoy flying this drone. I enjoy the AI drones. But this drone is just the best. I mean, I'm telling you, you don't have to go more expensive than that. Spend four hundred dollars, and you can get this. I mean, if you don't mind, you can get the fly more combo. You spend four hundred dollars. This is one of the best drones on the five hundred, and there's nothing better. It's so small, you can fit it everywhere, everywhere you want. So my honest review when it comes to this drum today, um, all I can say is that I feel so good. Oh my God, what can I say about it? Like, the stability of the drone was cool. Um, soon as you ascend the drone, it feels so good. And the connection between the controllers and the drum is just above average. It's something that I've never seen before. The quality of flying, it's cool like this drone has is very stable even when it's above 200 feet wow and the way it responds to commands it's good return back home it will return back home you will hear the app saying returning back home returning back home wow uh, <laughs> it's just oh wow you know it's better it's very exciting to see that DAI made something like this how I missed it oh god uh, this drone, it's just too cool to have. And the flight time is good. You know, it has a battery life of 30 minutes, but in my own take, you know, I think that it depends on what you do with your drone. If you go far away and, and you put in sport mode and you're just flying fast or something like that, of course, it's not gonna be 30 minutes. You might be flying for 20 minutes, you know? Um, that's why I say between 20 to 30 because I don't know what you're doing with your drone. So it really depends. It really depends. But this drone mechanism, the quality, it's amazing. 
I have never seen a quality so good like that. It's something wild. I mean, I don't think you can go beyond that. Wow. To be a drum so small, it's just too cool. You know, it's too cool. Now, I recommend this drum to anybody. Why it's easy to fly. Especially if you take photos and video, you're not going to regret it. Trust me that. So, until next time, thank you for watching.